Welcome to Curry TV. Now you want to know what I'm going to make, right? Shrimp in a banana pouch. I got a butterfly beside me. Anyway, so I got, that's what I'm going to do. It's in Malayalam, it's called Chemin Kiri. Okay? Shrimp means chemin, and Chemin Kiri means the kiri itself is called pouch. And how do you make the kiri or the pouch? With the banana leaf. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I've already cooked somewhat of my shrimp. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I did to that. So this is about a portion of that. The pan is really hot. In goes the shrimp. Okay. And in goes a little bit of the water. Why are we doing that? So that we can control how much to cook for. The shrimp. The shrimp doesn't take much time. So, I'm just flavoring the shrimp with a little bit of turmeric powder. Black pepper. And salt. Just to taste, okay? Because the rest of the flavors are going to come in and they're going to join. And, let's give it a mix. There we go. Now once you see that this is the perfect stage that your shrimp is halfway or three-fourth cooked, drain it. You need this broth. Right now you just got the shrimp broth along with perfect shrimps as well. This is not my version. I learned this from India and I wanted to try it out. And But I just gave it a little bit of my twist to it. Okay? It's not just like how they do it in India. Because some of the things, what they do in India, I cannot do here. So that's, it's been there for like three to four minutes. I'm just going to drain it out. Okay. So into this, I just poured in a little bit of coconut oil. Goes in the next is mustard and fenugreek. You don't need a large quantity, okay? Just a little bit goes a long ways. So that's that. I'm also going to be putting together with our shallots. Why do you use shallots? Because that's the taste. Onion has so much food in it, but shallots doesn't. Okay? But to thicken them, you do want onion as well. Along with your ginger garlic paste. So that's what I'm going to add, my ginger garlic paste, which is homemade. My neighbors are so lucky enough to experience all our flavors too. Just they're all peeking out and seeing what's going on here. Oh, did I mention I'm pouring, putting in green chilies? Okay. Green chilies and onion. I'm actually using two big, two large. If you don't have large onions, that's fine. I'm using two large onions diced because it's going to come to a paste. Okay, so let's rewind. I put in oil and then I put in mustard, fenugreek, let that splutter. In goes the shallots and ginger garlic paste along with curry leaves in there too. Not the fresh one. When I was grinding the uh, ginger garlic paste, I did put a couple sprigs of curry leaves in there. And then I put it in our onion. Now I just added our curry leaves. Two sprigs, okay? For this quantity, I'm cooking for 100 people, so it's not much. I bought we bought banana leaf from an Asian store. You can get it at an Asian store or a Mexican store. So it depends. If you have a Mexican store, do show it. Okay? It, the package just comes like so. Yay yeah, size. Okay, you gotta pay by the pound. Wait. So for this, we gotta pay $1.99, two, almost $2 per pound. 
okay? So I bought quite a few. My mixture here is somewhat sorted well enough. How do you like my attire? Do I look good? Well, it's an authentic fisherman traditional clothes. So I'm actually dedicating this whole episode to our fishermen. Do you know why? We recently went through a flood. And in that flood, so many people were drowned, so many people were killed by the flood, okay? To be to be honest with you, that's that's the situation. The brave people were the Indian army. Can't I can not leave them out. But the main heroes were our fishermen, our strong fishermen who are strong enough to bring their canoes and boats or whatnot. They were, they were brave enough to bring them and help their poor sisters and brothers who are suffering. That's humanity right there. So I want to dedicate this episode to them. That's why I'm wearing this. Now you know, I didn't want to give it away the first first time when I appeared in front of the camera. But now you know the reason. We were also in that flood. As if you've been following Curry TV, you would have seen how big of a flood it was. We were evacuated by a rescue team. Our dear cousins came in to help us. Our friends, all our well-wishers came in. We were giving live updates what the status was. We went on for three days without any other clothes. Let's be frank. Because all our luggages was in the house, we had to evacuate. I had to get my kids to safety. I didn't even care about my passport, to be honest with you. This is actually dedicated for you. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and my family. And that's also one of the reasons why we are doing this Seafood Fest. It's to embrace you guys, embrace our lives. How, how silly we think, take things for granted. Look at this. It's ready. Okay, if I cook any more, it's going to turn brown. Dark brown. I don't want that. Okay. In goes my tomato paste. And my... Whew, it's already hot. Now, the chefs in India were so patient enough to cut up dice our tomatoes so there's also one more reason why i did not dice up my tomato the, the tomato that we get here is so watery and in order for that to incorporate well i had to get it into a fine paste i just put it in my blender and just give it a mix is that something wrong what do you think put it in the comments below i'd love to hear from you what other changes should I make to this dish? Okay? So, now that is all ready. The water is evaporated. I'm putting in my coconut. Fresh coconuts. How much did I put in? About five of those. Five holes. Yes, my, di my dear husband did cut up all these coconuts for me. Bless his soul. I don't know when he's going to go insane with my cooking experiments. get added in slowly because you want to mix it well make sure that flavors are all going in okay that's very very important now create recreate this recipe in your kitchen and let me know how it turned out for you what goes next okay here's my secret thing remember earlier in my crab i dry most of the coconut well in that coconut pan, I poured in all the stock that was left from this shrimp. Okay, so the dry coconut paste and that shrimp stock is well incorporated into this mix. Okay, and I'm just going to pour it. So as you can see, I have not poured in any coconut milk, but yet so nice and so soft. Okay, the coconut is absorbed all that flavor in. 
my dear friend Rahul Krishna from Chinawala restaurant I gotta tell you if you want to taste seafood you gotta go there they got so much varieties man so many that we don't even know about similar to that is Karimin taste line that we visited there's more our dear friend Suraj his restaurant in Trishur is all dedicated to seafood. Each restaurant has their own highlights. Okay, so this restaurant was focused more on traditional day-to-day -day life, such as whatever your mom made. Okay, on a daily basis. That's why his restaurant provides you. Chinavala. Chinavala was a, an experience that none of our family members can actually forget. They made it so special. Even their dishes were so special, something that we have never heard about. Okay? They made it so special to each and every one of us. They take care of their customer. Similar to that, what we had experienced was at Karmin Tisland. That's in Kote. Chinawala is in Ernalo. So you know that we have traveled all up and down of Kerala. Okay? So in this recipe, I'm actually incorporating everything that I have learned from Kerala into our dishes. Oh my god. Okay. My shrimp is ready. Now once I put this in, it's about one to two minutes in this pot. How much am I cooking? About 10 pounds worth of shrimp for 100 people. Heat. So the ideal plan is for my gravy to evaporate. Thicken up. Alright guys, my shrimp is all done. So I'm just gonna flavor it with coconut oil. Go here. So Rahul dear, Rahul Krishna, we take your advice. I did add, as you suggested, extra virgin coconut oil and fresh curry leaves. Now we're gonna seal it off with a fresh banana leaf. There you have it guys, my fresh seafood category. Shrimp kiri is ready. Alright guys, you, I'm just gonna show you one. I'm gonna show you how to make a pouch. This is one banana leaf or half of a banana leaf. This is how I got it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is making sure it's put it over the flame, making sure that it's so nicely so okay, thank you. My rescuer. Okay. I wanted to show them how it looks yeah. like. That glaze will be there when it is done. Okay, now turn it over. Some people actually put it in the hot water too. Please? Yeah. Okay. It's too hot. It's too hot, I know, I know. So I'm gonna, already there's a tear here, right? So I'm gonna use that as my guide. And I'm just gonna tear it apart. Take this baby out. Ooh, it smells so good. Ooh. Portion of that in there, nice and so soft. And what do I do? Okay, use my leg as a kitty ball, bring it all up. So, by glazing it over the heat, the leaf has become so tender. Now, this is actually a pouch, right. You tie it up using a banana string. So this is the ideal pouch. Okay. Once you next step from here is actually you get it to a grill. Let it sit there for one or two minutes. Done. You serve it to your friends or family like so on a plate. Well, uh, let me know how it came out for you. I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, we forgot where we put the key to this. <laughs> We're still in the jet lag mode.
to more videos on Curry TV.